Chapter 216 Alex smiled before he said, Remember what you have said today. I might need you to do something for me in the future. Stephen nodded before he replied, Mr. Anderson, don't worry. You can give me orders to do anything for you. At this time, Master Oliver who had been lying on the ground as he held onto his stomach suddenly began crying and begging for mercy. Big brother, please let me go. I will not dare to do this anymore in the future. Please, forgive me and let me go. Stephen sneered before he said, You are a liar. I must teach you a lesson. My subordinates are coming to get you now. Alex asked in a low voice, How are you going to deal with him? Stephen replied coldly, I've already said that I will chop him up into pieces before feeding him to the dogs. How could I not keep to my word? I have a friend who owns a dog shelter. He has so many dogs there, they could probably finish eating twenty scumbags like him. As soon as Master Oliver heard Stephen's words, he was so frightened that he started trembling in fear. Then, he cried as he continued begging for mercy. Big brother, I have a family that I have to look after. Please just let me off this time. I will certainly remember your kindness. Alex glanced at him but did not feel any sympathy for him at all. After all, he was nothing but a deceitful liar who would only cause more harm to this world. If he continued messing around in the feng shui industry, he could cost some innocent people their lives. To put it bluntly, he was just a deceitful liar who deserved to die. Moreover, Master Oliver had completed the dragon encapsulation formation today simply because he wanted to scam Faria of her money. If Alex had not been there today, Faria would undoubtedly have lost her life. Furthermore, the Adair family owned a very big business, and if such a huge enterprise were to collapse, Alex could not imagine the number of people who would be affected by this. If so, Faria would not be the only one affected because of what Master Oliver had done. Hence, Alex felt that there was no need for a scumbag like this to remain in this world. Before long, some of Stephen's subordinates showed up and dragged Master Oliver away. Master Oliver continued crying and howling, complaining about how miserable and pitiful he was. He even said that he regretted his actions, but no one sympathized with him at all. Alex simply stared at him before he shook his head. He had already told him that a bloody disaster would befall him today. Unfortunately, Master Oliver refused to believe him, and so, he could only accept the consequences of his actions now. After solving all the problems, Stephen quickly thanked Alex for everything that he had done before he drove Alex home. Upon returning home, Alex realized that Emma was still looking for a job. Alex did not say much because even though he really wanted to start up a new company for Emma, she did not seem interested in the idea at all. Therefore, he did not want to say too much. Besides, he did not want Emma to tire herself out. If he started a company for her, she would have to deal with a lot of work at the early stage of the business. With Emma's character and persistence, Alex knew that she would definitely push herself, and she would only be suffering in the end. Later that evening, Alex received a phone call from his good friend, Noah. Ever since Alex had helped Noah teach the adulterous pair a lesson at the hospital, Alex had not seen Noah again. The main reason was simply that there were too many things that had happened at home recently, and he really did not have any time to visit him at all. Noah informed Alex over the phone that he had recovered and could finally be discharged from the hospital today. Since Alex had helped him to reclaim his restaurant and get a compensation that was worth a few million dollars. The first thing Noah wanted to do after getting discharged from the hospital was to treat some of his close friends to dinner. Alex agreed immediately because he was glad that his good friend was finally going to be discharged from the hospital. Just then, Emma walked out of the bathroom after taking a shower and asked Alex casually, Who is calling you so late at night? Alex replied, Noah has just been discharged from the hospital. He wants to treat us to dinner. Let's go together tomorrow. Emma nodded and replied, Okay. Chapter